Kennebunk is another town in Maine still recovering from storm damage, and yesterday's snow didn't really help. So this morning, our Hany Ashivi spoke with the town's fire chief about cleanup efforts there and where the community is going to go from here. Good morning, Lee and Sharon. I'm here with the Kennebunk Fire Chief Justin Cooper, who witnessed all the devastation firsthand from last week's storms. And Justin, tell me a little bit about how challenging that repair and restoration work has been in the last few days. Absolutely. It's been extremely challenging. Uh, in this particular storm, the damage is so widespread along the entire coast, and every town along the coast has faced the exact same problems. Why is it important for people to stay home these days? You were saying, um, a lot of people are trying to see that damage, but it actually delays that repair and restoration work. That's correct. Uh, again, the damage is so widespread in, in almost every single area. The seawall is either damaged, undermined, the road is damaged and undermined. And our public services workers are working really hard trying to identify all those areas that are completely undermined by uh, the ocean waters. Moving forward, if we have a storm like this one, hopefully not, but you've decided to take a different action and not respond to emergency calls. Why is that? That's correct. Uh, in this particular storm, both Wednesday and Saturday, we found the conditions were extremely unsafe for our responders. There was no way for us possibly to, to respond along the beach area. And we had to advise uh, residents and our dispatch center that we weren't going to be able to respond until after the high tide and after those floodwaters receded. Chief, what's your biggest concern moving forward if we continue to have similar storms like these? Uh, so right now our infrastructure is uh, significantly damaged. So every single month as we get uh, the high tides along the moon cycles, we're just going to get further and further damage. Uh, so it's going to take an incredible long time uh, for each town to, to mitigate all those problems because, again, it's so widespread. We're looking for the, the same assistance, the same workers, the same contractors to fix those problems, but not just in Kennebunk, every town along the coast. And Chief, can you point how difficult it is for you to fix a seawall? Because, for example, the owner here says this is town property, which it is. But as you're saying, all along the coast, the seawall is gone. And this is not just in Kennebunk. So this repair work is not going to take days. It might take months. It might take months, and in some cases, it might even take years. And it's not just as simple as putting back the seawall as well. So we have to follow federal regulations to be able to do so, and we also have to work with the Army Corps of Engineers to do so. We can't just go out and say, we, we're going to hire a contractor and fix this today. This is a, a much longer-term solution. Chief, and last question, when should people evacuate, or what should they do ahead of a storm like this one? Yeah, uh, particularly in this case, uh, you know, we tried to push a lot of information out uh, through uh, your county EMA, our alert systems and whatnot. And in this particular case, like we talked about, where we can't even respond out during heights of, of the storm weather, uh, we had residents that uh, were wanting evacuation that were extremely afraid as their houses were getting battered, and we weren't able to get to them. In some situations, we actually put ourselves in, in situations where we damaged equipment trying to get to them. So it's really important that people heed the warnings and leave ahead of time and find a safe place of refuge uh, or a shelter prior to that storm. Thank you. Kenny Bunk Fire Chief Justin Cooper, thanks for joining me this morning. And as he said, it's really important that you stay home and avoid the areas that need repair and restoration because that's going to help public works officials repair those areas quicker and safer. In Kenny Bunk, Hannah Yashivi, News Center, Maine.